Welcome back to the course. We are at a very crucial part now. That's because we'll finally start to learn what we call as the manual mode. Now manual mode of the camera is the most superior mode of shooting. That's because it enables you to control each setting. What these settings are, we'll soon be seeing and we'll be going one by one in this course. But as of now, what you can understand is that learning manual mode is very important because it allows you to express yourself and create a kind of a photograph that is in your mind. Now the first thing I want you to do is take your camera, look at the mode dial and turn this to M. That's great. This means we are on manual mode. Now manual mode consists of three important settings. Let's have a look at what these settings are. In the manual mode, there are three important settings which we'll be covering. These will be shown in the course one by one and we'll be going through all of them. These settings are aperture, shutter speed and ISO. These three make up the manual mode and are the most important settings in a DSLR camera. Together, these three settings form what we call as an exposure triangle. Right now, when you look at this diagram, you can get confused because right now you don't understand what the text and the little numbers mean. And don't worry, we'll be covering these settings one by one. That's the time you'll start to understand what everything in this diagram means. Once we go through all the settings one by one, we'll also be seeing how the three of them work together. That's when you'll really start to understand everything. But be patient, do not worry, we'll go through everything step by step. That's great. So now we know what these three settings are inside the manual mode and we know what an exposure triangle consists of. Now before we can start with individually learning these settings, what we have to just learn is where are these settings located on our camera and how can we change their values. You'll see later on that this is pretty important to us even though we have not even started to learn what these settings are all about. So it's very important that we learn to locate these settings on the camera so you get familiar with them and also to learn to change their values because it's completely under your control. Right, so let's have a look. If you have your camera in front of you, once you're on the manual mode and you switch off the live view, you will see a screen which has three values. The value on the left, which is like a fraction, is called as the shutter speed. The value in the center, which is a number with the F alphabet. This is your aperture or also referred to as the F-stop number. And the third value on the right, as the name suggests, is ISO. These are the three settings that make up the manual mode. So right now, even though that you don't know what these settings actually do, it's important to locate them where they are on your camera. Now that you've located them, let's see how to change these values. On a Nikon camera, locate the command dial, which is like a black wheel. Once you locate this command dial, and if you rotate this, you will find that the value of shutter speed, or the first value that we saw, it starts to change. You can see as I rotate the command dial here, that fraction value is changing. Right now, don't worry about what that value means. We'll be covering that later on. All you have to observe is that this value is changing when you rotate the command dial. The procedure will remain the same even if you have a Canon camera or any other camera. Locate the command dial. In this case, it can be on top also on some cameras. But the same thing will happen. Once you rotate the command dial, the value of shutter speed will change. Let's have a look. Here you can see as we rotate the dial, the value changes. That's great. So now you know how to change the shutter speed on your camera. 
let's have a look on how to change aperture on our camera. To change the aperture value or the f-stop value on your Nikon camera, locate the exposure compensation button which has a plus minus sign on it. Once you locate this button which is usually on top in the Nikon cameras, press this button down and then while keeping this button pressed, rotate the command dial. You will find that the f-stop value starts to change. Again, keep the button pressed down and then rotate the command dial. On a Canon camera, the exposure comp compensation button can actually be found sometimes next to the screen, as you can see. The procedure will remain the same. That is, you hold down the button and then you rotate the command dial. Let's see how to change the ISO. On a Nikon camera, you can change ISO by pressing the I button which takes you to the menu inside the screen. Locate the ISO option there, press OK and then change the ISO value. On a Canon camera, simply press the ISO button on top and you'll see that the ISO options come in front of you on the screen. And you can select the right ISO for the shot that you're taking, which we'll see how to do later on. That's great. So we finally know how to change all three settings of aperture, shutter speed and ISO on our camera. This is very, very crucial. But now that we know how to do this, now is the time to dive into the most important part of this course, which is learning manual mode. So we'll be starting off with the setting of ISO first, then we'll be covering shutter speed and then we'll be covering aperture. So I'm going to see you in those videos where we will take a deep look into each of these settings and learn their usage. See you there.